Yes. Uh, tell me what issues are you having now? Um, I'm having a pain on my knee at this side. Okay. And the pain will come when I run and try to lift up my leg. Okay. So, may you show us your movement when you're having pain? Yeah. The uh, movement is actually feeling the pain when I lift up the leg. And you should show it as, as area. Okay. Okay. And you put down also, you have the pain, right? Put down, you put down. I feel the pain. Right at the back, okay. okay. Can you just take a seat again? Okay, so as I was uh, explaining to you, well, that's because uh, maybe you can tell me about your training. Uh, okay, in my training, I do a bit more on the up slope training. Yeah, up slope training, and uh, how about downhill training? Uh, didn't really focus much on the downhill. Yeah, training. so this is one main issue la, because you need to if you go uphill you need to go downhill as well because currently what's happening now is that is that your adductors and your quads there was an adhesion just now just now when i tested it there was an adhesion okay, okay. so the main issue i hypothesized was that because of of your 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 adductors. It was kind of because of the need for hip of uh, hip extension, and the adductors is what we call a secondary hip extensor. The primary hip extensor is your glutes. Okay, so if your glutes are not strong enough, your adductors will have to take the load. And so what happens then is that when you're running, of course your VMO is involved because the VMO acts as a stabilizer of the knee. So this got stuck. To your adductors, to your adductor magnus. Okay. So when that happened, there was an adhesion here because where the, the there are there are two meeting points of the adductor magnus with the VMO. One is right at the attachment, and the other one is at the origin. Okay. Okay. In between, it kind of separates. So usually, it's at the extremities. So just just now, what so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on easing off. The, or getting this, uh, the VMO as well as adductor magnus to slide on both ends of the muscle, all right? And after that, I also work on the gracilis as well as the sartorius in order to ease it off. What I'm going to do is that I am going to do a separation of the adductor magnus from the VMO using a, a level two ART technique. Okay, so from this leg straight up. Okay, I'm going to bend it in towards me. Okay. So I am holding a distal tension on the VMO and a proximal tension on the adductor magnus. Okay, move it in. One more time. Go. At the same time, go we'll stay there. I'm going on the attachment is right there. It feels a bit sore right there. Okay, go. Back in. Go. Okay, lie down your back. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do to get relative motion between the gracilis as well as the, as the sartorius. So I'm putting a I'm putting a proximal tension on the sartorius and distal tension on the gracilis, right at where underneath the VMO, basically just getting it to slide so that I'm covering more bases because all these muscles are adducted. Uh, adduction muscles which help in running and any of these is going to get stuck especially when with this symptom that he has it's right there, feel that? yeah okay the okay, next I'm going to do is I'm going to work on separating the on uh, separating the the semi metamorphosis his, his hamstring from his from his uh, adductors underneath as well. So it's underneath now. So we we'll extend out the leg. Come back. Go. So this is a level two technique. Go. Bend. Go. Bend. Go. Okay. Come up. Try again. Thank you.